Go and live so that one day you're not old and looking backwards and there's nothing you can do about it and you're filled with regrets. So I was talking to my friend and um, he was reminiscing on his mother who had passed a few years prior. And um, he was just telling me about how she had battled her illness so bravely and finally when she had gone into the hospital, she was kind of in and out of conscious, in and out of conscious. And he's an only child, so he was kind of sitting by her bed and just laying vigil and making sure whenever she woke up, she knew that he was right there. But for the most part, you know, she wasn't coherent. And they said, <clears throat> one time she woke up right before she passed and she had this strange look on her face. And she turned to him and she had like a moment of clarity. She knew exactly who he was. She knew exactly where she was at. She knew her condition. And she grabbed his hand and he's like, mama, mama, don't speak. And she was like, like she had to get something out. And she looked him in the eyes and said, baby, if I had known it was going to end like this, all the things that I didn't do, I would have did. And just that quick, she slipped back into unconsciousness. She never regained consciousness. And a little while later, she passed. So I was like, yo, do you think she knew what she was saying? Do you like, do you think she was aware of even her thought process? And he said, honestly, Prez, I don't know. But I know that that was the last thing she ever said. And I was like, damn, like, like, let's really think about this. Can you imagine laying on your deathbed and you're not thinking about your kids, you're not thinking about all of your life experiences and all of the wonderful things that you've done over the course of your life. Like, yeah, I don't want to leave you guys, but this woman was in regret. That was her final conscious thought before she closed her eyes. And I'm like, wow. How many of us are living our life too afraid to go all out? Too afraid to do exactly what we know what we were put on this earth to do? How many of us are talking ourselves out of the opportunities that are right there for us? Let's start living this life without regrets. Life is good. It's sunny out. You know, in New York, it's like Game of Thrones. We be really having a long winter. Like this winter never ends. And now that the season's starting to change, the sun is out. It just feels good to be alive. And I want to live. I want all of you guys, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing that's been on your heart, on your mind, no matter how wild, how crazy, how outlandish it might sound, do it. Because life is not guaranteed. You can be here today, gone today. And when it's over, it's over. It's no do-overs. You don't get no comebacks in this game. It ain't no I got next. It's done. Wouldn't you like to leave this place knowing I did it my way? You know, I balled till I fall. I did the best I could. I raised my family. I loved and was loved. But leaving here with regrets 
That ain't it. You know, I think about even my own dad passed away, you know, um, early 2000s. And I remember being at work. My dad had been in the hospital. He got surgery. And, you know, the doctors kind of prepped us. They let us know that it was a good chance that he wasn't going to make it out of this. So I would go see him every night. But I'll never forget. I got a call. I'm at work. Doctor said, you need to get here. His time is short. And at that point, I thought that I had made peace with his life, with his demise. So I leave work and I'm racing up the rest side highway, trying to get to the hospital. And finally, when I got there, I pull in, go up to his room. They tell me, he just passed. Like, you just missed him. So now it's just me and him in that room. Me and him. And tears start coming down my eyes and I'm standing there and I'm just, you know, looking at the old man and, and it's new. I'm like, wow, like, I can't believe it. A guy I've known my whole life is just no longer here. My pops is gone. And right as I'm starting to feel bad about myself, feel bad about the fact that he's no longer here. It was almost like he was in the room with me because it was just me and him. And I could hear something. He knew that my heart was heavy. And I heard something almost as loud and as clear as though he was sitting right in front of me. And I thought of something that he had told me years prior, years, me and him had got into, I don't even know what it was. But I remember at that time, years prior to his demise, he told me, he said, I lived my life the way I wanted to live. And he said it just like this with a smile on. He was like, I lived my life the way I wanted to live, not the way y'all wanted me to live. I did it my way. And I'm sure, because I don't even know the circumstances around that conversation, but I do know that I never thought of that conversation ever again until that moment that I was in the hospital and it was just me and him and his body's laid out. And it was like he knew I needed to hear it. And I heard it clear as day. And I never dropped another tear, ever. Tears immediately went away. And I could smile because I knew. And I just grabbed his hand. Body wasn't even cold yet. Just grabbed his hand. At that time when I heard the when I heard his voice, it came from him. And I just grabbed his hand. And I was like, Dad, I know you're all right. You did it, Joe. You told me yourself. You lived your life the way you wanted to live. And that's all we can ask from anybody. Live without regrets you're thinking about relocating who's holding you back you're thinking about starting that business who's holding you back you're thinking about starting a family go for it stop thinking about the perfect time and when you have your finances in order all that, it's never going to be a perfect do it do it go and live so that one day you're not old and looking backwards and there's nothing you can do about it and you're filled with regrets. Guys, this life is good and there's so much opportunity. It's good even when bad things happen. There's always tomorrow. It's always another day. It's always another opportunity. And so long as God blesses you with air in your lungs, you need to live to the max. Live with no regrets. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.